I'm Zeb Fima, Research Analyst for Action Alerts, plus here with Jim Kramer, Kramer live on the floor of the NYSC. Jim, there's a lot going on, a lot in flux, but what is top of mind right now? Fluidity of the situation. Uh, the Chinese uh, sound like they're being intransigent. The president seems to indicate there is a deal. Uh, the deal is, uh, I think, regarded by the president as being very large. To me, what matters is, is that uh, the Sunday, uh, if you listen to the president, you would say that the Sunday tariffs are off the table. Uh, we've not heard that from the Chinese. Uh, so many times there have been situations where uh, the president had been, has been misled by the Chinese. And uh, let's hope it's not the case, which is why I say be, uh, be careful right here, uh, because the Chinese have not acknowledged, and yet we've had a very good rally. Okay, so Jim, so, so obviously, I mean, the, the markets, they were down, that they're back. I right. guess people are wondering, do we run in and put money to work now, or is well, it I mean, I gave, I gave a full list yesterday on, on real money and talked right. about a mad money of, of what works. Uh, those still work. Uh, no change, but I would have liked to have seen uh, the keynote of the keystone of what I was hoping was that the Chinese would say, we're going to let the financial companies come in uh, unfettered without partners. Uh, that was supposed to be phase one, and we've not heard the Chinese agree to that yet. We've only heard uh, buys of ag, um, which is not of anyone's concern. Uh, because that's just to the farmers. We're looking for the, the notion of a company coming into China and being able to operate independently of the Chinese. Uh, that would solve a lot of the problems about intellectual property theft. It would mean a, a great deal just in terms of, uh, of cybersecurity that we could have banks in there and maybe they wouldn't have to be, maybe we could encrypt them against the government, which right now you're not allowed to. So uh, we need to see some uh, 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 a, a story which says, says they're going to let American Express come in. That's what you need to see. Uh, and my hope is is that if you're uh, is that that you won't get exactly that verbiage, but that's what you would uh, that's what you would buy. You'd right. buy American Express. Okay, so Jim, switching it up real quick, and uh, talking about a company that actually is trying to push into China, um, Costco, real money stock of the day reported earnings last night. There was it's some noise quarter. timing. You like that? Yeah, I mean, look, Costco, uh, as my friend Stephanie Link used to run actually, Lord's with me says, Costco rarely trades up on the quarter; it trades up after the quarter. Uh, but the numbers are spectacular. You know, it's almost 100 million members. Uh, very little, very little, no inflation. Tariffs have meant de minimis. Uh, one store in Shanghai, unbelievable numbers. They can open many more in China. Wants to get the logistics worked out. Uh, remember, they have far, far fewer units, so they can control than say a typical Walmart. So they can pivot if something has a very big uh, tariff put on it, uh, and they don't want to sell it. They don't have to sell it, or they can make a private label version. They have so much flexibility. Remember, they are the nation's second largest retailer, so uh, they have scale, and they get a lot more done than a regular retailer. Jim, you have spoken about scale just for those, uh, I don't know how you could not know, but Costco is one of the watch stocks, uh, Walmart, uh, Amazon, Target, Costco, Home Depot, so scale. Home Depot, yes, actually, uh, you kick them right out, put it in an L, it just doesn't, it's just not literative. Right. Um, so, all right, switching it up, let's talk Facebook. As, as viewers know, Facebook has really been talking about combining every, the back end of all their apps into one. They're trying to go against that. What does that mean for M&A going forward? Well, I mean, I, look, I think we don't know what the FTC is going to do. Uh, trying to get information out of Facebook's hard. Uh, trying to get out information out of the FTC is hard. Um, I, I personally doubt they can get that injunction. Um, injunctions are very serious things. Judges are very reluctant to do it. I want to know where the harm is. See, they, they have to demonstrate harm before they get an injunction. And I, I don't think that, uh, I, I don't think you can prove harm. But let's see. Let's see what they want. Do you think companies will, will look at M&A uh, more hesitantly now that there, there's so much focus no, on it? No, no. You know, this is about ethos of a culture. I mean, I think that Facebook's under the gun because of their culture. Uh, and I... I I hesitate to say that there are anything that could be, uh, they're, they're not a precursor to anything other than a company that, that the government is just not fond of. They, they have no champions. I mean, one of the things that, that, that Facebook has done wrong is they have no buddy in Washington that likes them. Nobody. Justice doesn't like them. Democrats don't like them, Republicans don't like them, the President doesn't like them. They have not done anything to cultivate that. They've had some dinners and they've gone out and did some things, but they have no ambassadors. And until they find, until they begin to empower people in a, in a personal way that really makes them do better uh, and identify with their, with their readers, I think that they will be continue to be hassled because they're, they're a punching bag. They're just a punching bag. 
And for those who don't know, you should know by now, but Facebook is a holding in Jim's charitable trust, yeah, which you can follow along with at actionarts.com. You know, should be sold at all 200. Yeah, I, you know, like the stock, you have to deal with this. this is, it's a headline risk stock. It's a headline risk. We are going to talk more about this over on the Action Alerts Plus call right now because, Jim, we are out of time. But Catherine will be back on Monday. I'm Zeb Fima for ActionAlertsPlus.com. See you next time.